It's the fourth port call on Saipan under the Palacios Apatang administration, which has pivoted away from the China tourism market in favor of the military. This, this, this vessel has got 350 uh, crew, including captain and everything. So that's, they're going to be here till Tuesday. So it's going to be significant. You know, they're going to be hanging around our, our, our island and visiting, uh, touring the island and, and visiting the businesses. The USS ship arrived Friday and will be departing Tuesday. Uh, first impression is uh, beautiful. It's, uh, the, the, the water is great. I'm excited about getting in uh, and, and just taking a little break out here. It's the guided missile destroyer's first time on island since joining the 7th Fleet a year ago. The visit comes at a time of increased tension in the region. There's a lot going on. Uh, our main purpose out here is just to uh, protect the you know, freedom of navigation uh, and uh, just you know, overall prosperity of, of 7th Fleet and uh, the Indo-Pacific. The commander gave local media a tour of the ship, showing its capabilities and what it takes to run the operation. The governor is expected to tour the ship on Monday. We've had this in the past. Uh, for some reason, they, they just stopped, you know. And uh, we wanted to, to get them back and welcome them back. Uh, I know the activities right now is a lot more increased activities out there. Uh, but we want them to co-port, get on land and enjoy themselves. So we've been underway for a few weeks, uh, and uh, yeah, the, the crew needs a little break because so we've been going pretty hard for the last three or four weeks, and uh, it's, it's going to be nice for them to get off the ship and enjoy some downtime over the weekend. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.